The Milch Magai Technical University, as on Tuesday, 29th March 2022, signed a memorandum of understanding MOU with the Ministry of Agriculture as a way to help train their students with practical skills. The signing ceremony took place at the Ministry's conference room, U Billing, Freetown. The Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Miltimangai Technical University, Professor Dr. Philip John Kano, said he is very delighted for the signing of the MOU. He further that, as a new technical university, they want to take the lead in the area of the middleman level power and also the human capital development, as they want to train people who will not go out to look for a job, but people who could be a job creators? When we took up office, we noticed that uh, all of these things are no more there. But we are happy this MOU will be able to make our lecturers. We have good lecturers. The, the, the head of department, the other lecturers. But most times, these people, we need to expose them. Agriculture will have research work. The things that uh, we are looking at, we think. We need to really do the practical aspects rather than just talking about <coughs> theory. You have other partners like FAO, WFP. These are organizations that, if they are coming with research work, well, Minister, we want to assure you, our students, our staff are ready to learn because we will not say we know it. We will learn from you because you are doing the practical things. The Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security, Dr. Abubakar Karim, thank and congratulate Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu for all his hard work and for turning around the college into a technical university. He also stated that they as ministry, these are some of the collaborations they want to be part of, as for so long, Sierra Leone has been lacking the middleman level power and also the skills to operate some of the agricultural equipment. And with the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry and the Miltimagai that will allow students to improve on their skills, which in turn will give the country more people who are skillful to operate rather than hiring people from other countries to do the basic jobs that Sierra unions, which he believe, can do. And one of the key things we've done as a ministry was um, looked at a policy shift where we, we have decided to engage the private sector. But at the same time, if we are to succeed in food production, we need to put more lowland under cultivation through the use of mechanization. And that brings us to the question that even with the machines that we are going to be using, our middle uh, level manpower capacity has been very low over the years and um, this is where institutions, learning institutions play a bigger role in terms of ensuring that we provide those middle level manpower which are really the drivers particularly or the backbone of most economies contrary to what people might think. Um, and in order for that to happen, there has to be some collaboration between colleagues, you know, um, the implementing entity and um, call it the preparatory entry there, which will be the institutions. And I think um, for me, when I started conversation with my brother, the principal, Dr. Kano, um, it was very clear <coughs> that if we are to be able to make most of our minimum manpower level, um, then we need this sort of collaboration so that we could be able to produce as many engineers or as many um, people as possible that can actually come in and support the ministry by extension. The Acting Director General at the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, Mohamed Ajuba Sharif, also commended the university for their new status and promised that the ministry will do all its best to see that students 
will be able to gain from their partnership. He further that if any country want to develop, they have to pay attention on the middleman level power, which he says skills development training program should be conducted for young people in the country. And Milti Magai Technical University are on the right path to solve the long standing problems in the country. The last time the Ministry of Education came here, that they have given us the authority to be collaborating. Yes, to be doing exchange services with the universities, the institutions, so you do not make any mistake. And I want to commend you with this MOU, you know, that you are coming from the back, but now you are taking the lead. We have a very old MOU with Yala University, a case in point. Now we are trying to review, to review the MOU, but then you, we started to formulate a new MOU, and now we are here to sign the new MOU. So thank you very much. The program was climbed with the official signing and exchange of documents. For Star News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.